first of all what is a deadlock deadlock just understand like this you have a track and there are two trains t1 t2 now this train wants to start but it is waiting for t2 to leave and similarly t2 is waiting for t1 to leave so that it may start or it may run on the track but because they are on the same track they both cannot run right there is another example like you are here and there is a corridor and you know, somebody someone someone else is here now when you move here and there is only one uh, person can pass so or say a two person can pass now when uh, this guy or you uh, you know turn this side or sway here you both sway together means both the side you sway when you go this side he also goes this side now there is no possibility of you uh, realizing that if you go this side and he goes this side then you may pass this is also an example of the deadlock so before we go ahead with the deadlock first of all let us understand the system model so computer resources and essentially deadlock is related with the resources so computer resources they are of different type or they are partitioned partitioned into several types like the memory space the cpu cycles the files the input output devices now it, there can be one printer there can be multiple printer there can be one cpu there can be multiple cpu so each type consists of some number of identical instances that is if you have these two cpus the resource type cpu has two instances means instances means only the number of times uh, the resources is so if a full process now request an instance of resource type the allocation of any instance of that type will satisfy the request that means a process is coming or has come now it asks for a request that is it wants certain resource so if resource is available it will be allocated but there are certain cases where it may not be allocated or certain scenarios we will see the process may utilize a resource in only certain sequence the sequence is like this first it would request the process would request for the resource if the request cannot be granted immediately for example if the resource is being used by some other process then the requesting process has to wait it has to wait so that or till it will this uh, process leave this resource now the usage is now the process when it gets hold of this uh, resource it can operate on this resource for example if the resource is printer the process can print on the printer then once the work is done it will release this, this resource how to characterize a deadlock first of all when would you say that a deadlock has occurred when two or more process they are waiting indefinitely for any event that can only be caused by any one of these waiting process this process is waiting this process is waiting and both the process are waiting for the other process to do something to give an event or to start something but both are waiting so it will not start it is waiting for him this is waiting for him so this is deadlock characterization and there are certain necessary condition for a deadlock deadlock is essentially related with resources when we have one resource or multiple resources then a process may ask the process when it asks the resource may not be available or if it is available it may be uh, held by some other resource so there is some sort of you know you will see cycle and all going on so the process, the things are going fine but the system is not doing any work it is at stand still waiting for someone to do something like like when you are in a meeting you are waiting for someone to break the ice so necessary condition is what when you talk about a deadlock there are certain necessary condition the deadlock situation if all these four they occur simultaneously they all occur simultaneously then we say the deadlock has occurred the deadlock situation has occurred first is mutual exclusion at least one resource is there that is held in non shareable mode it is not being shared right now at least one resource is there so this is mutual exclusion now a process is a process is holding a resource and it is waiting for other resource also it is holding it and now it is waiting for other resource also this is hold and wait no preemption once this process is holding this process, this resource now the resource 
cannot be released voluntarily. It will. It is not going to voluntarily release this resource. It has to be preempted. But there is no preemption, no uh, giving of resources. Circular wait. This process waiting for this process. This process waiting for this process. This process waiting for this process. That is in a, this is a set of waiting processes. All are waiting for a resource which is held by another process in this set. All these four conditions must occur together or hold together for a deadlock to occur. 